And now, a sip of history from my friend Idafe. Over 120 years ago, a woman named Hayebi Ubagwe fled her parents' home in Enugu Ezeke, an Igbo community in part of what is now known as Nigeria. She didn't know where she would go, but she knew she didn't want a marriage arranged by her community spiritual leaders. Ubagwe turned to sex work. She taught herself multiple languages, including Pidgin English, which is now lingua franca in Nigeria, a skill that served her well as she forged an alliance with British occupation. Pious, leading them back to her former home of Enugu Ezeke, the British supported her claim to become the community headman and eventually the king. She not only upset gender norms by occupying political posts, but by stepping into male cultural roles as well as any now the legendary title of female king. Her life served as a powerful example of resilience and gender non-conformity in Igbo culture and politics. And that is your sip of history.